Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the envelope of the ellipses having the coordinate axis as their principal axis and their semi axis A and B are connected by the relation root A plus root B equal to root C. Now, from the given relation, root B is root C minus root A. When we square on both the sides, it is B is root c minus root a whole square and our ellipse equation is x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1. Now when we replace b here it is x square by a square plus y square by b square will become square of this. So already there is power 2 when we square it will become power 4 which is equal to 1. Let's keep this equation as 1 and we are going to differentiate this 1 with respect to a. So x square is a constant now and actually our first term is x square into a power minus 2 when this is taken to the numerator. When we differentiate x square is a constant we keep it as it is. The differentiation of a power minus 2 is minus 2 a power minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3 plus. Once again y square is a constant and this term is actually y square into root c minus root a power minus 4. When we differentiate it is minus 4 root c minus root a whole power minus 4 minus 1 is minus 5 and by chain rule this differentiation root c is a constant so it is 0 into minus root a is minus 1 by 2 root a. So we completed the differentiation of the terms and on the other side it is 0. So here we can cancel actually minus sign and minus sign 2 and 4 this becomes 2. Now the first term is minus 2x square by a cube which is equal to we take this to the other side minus 2y square root c minus root a whole power minus 5 whole division root a. Now minus 2 we can cancel on both the sides. This is x square by, we can write a cube as a square into a and here y square, this we shall take to the denominator as root c minus root a whole power 5 into root a. When I cancel this root a with this a, remaining will be root a. Now I am going to write in such a way that to get this term after applying the properties of the ratio. So we need x square by a square. This is written as x square by a square by root a because this is like root a by 1 after making a reciprocal product we get the previous term but I need this term as of now. In the same way this is y square by root c minus root a power 4 and one more power we take it as a separate denominator. So total power 5 is split into like this. Now by using the ratio property we are going to add the numerator separately and denominator separately. By adding the numerator we are going to get x square by a square plus y square by root c minus root a whole power 4 whole division we are going to add the denominators separately. So that gives us root a plus root c minus root a. So we can cancel this and from the first equation x square by a square plus y square by root c minus root a whole power 4 we have it as 1. 
So this entire term is replaced as 1 by 1. Now once again we are going to write the terms in the usual way x square by this is a square into root a like the previous term. So a square and root a is half. By adding we get a power 5 by 2 which is equal to y square by root c minus root a whole power 5 which is equal to 1 by root c. Now taking the first and last term we get x square by a power 5 by 2 equal to 1 by root c and taking the last two term it is y square by root c minus root a whole power 5 equal to 1 by root c. Now by cross multiplication a power 5 by 2 is x square into root c. Here root c minus root a whole power 5 equal to y square into root c. So from here a is x square root c whole power 2 by 5. From this root c minus root a is y square root c whole power 1 by 5. But from the beginning this is root b. So root b is y square root c whole power 1 by 5. When we square on both the sides we get b. And when we square on the other side it is power 2 by 5. So finally we got a and b and this can be substituted in the ellipse equation. Here x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1. So x square by a square. So x square root c whole power. When I square this we get a square and the power becomes 4 by 5 plus y square by b square. Again this is y square root c whole power 4 by 5 which is equal to 1. So now this is x square by x power when I take power individually 8 by 5 and c power half for that power 4 by 5 in the same way y square by y power 8 by 5 c power half into 4 by 5 which is equal to 1. Now this is power 2 and this is power 8 by 5. So when we group x term this will go to the power as minus 8 by 5. So by taking LCM, LCM is 5, it is 10 minus 8. So it is x power 2 by 5. x power 2 by 5. By, we can cancel this, c power 2 by 5. Similarly here also, y power 2 by 5 by c power after cancelling 2 by 5. This is equal to 1. Now taking LCM, we get x power 2 by 5 plus y power 2 by 5 and LCM is a common denominator which we can take to the other side as c power 2 by 5. So this is the required equation of the envelope.